up guys? Oh, hey, <laughs> I'm all starting a vlog. I'm like talking oh, to you guys. <laughs> hey guys, it's the day of the shindig. Happy shindig 2020. No, 2019. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Oh, it's the day of the shindig, shindig 2019. So happy to be with you guys. I'm excited to uh, show you the shindig. Yeah, it's gonna be a great time. Super excited. Super excited. I took the lid off. Say hi. So where are you guys based? We're out of Unicoi, Tennessee, awesome. up in the Appalachian Mountains. And what's your favorite part of what you do? Raising this one. <laughs> yes. In the right the right way with the Lord. So when we can do that, everything all else falls in place. And what were you telling me is your favorite thing? What's your favorite video that she does? Worms. You like worms too? Yeah. Say they're good. They're good for our garden, aren't they? No, I just got this from her. What is this? Tell us a little bit about your artwork it's a here. Horse. It's a horse. I love it. So I get to take this with me to California? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I will treasure it. Thank you. Yeah. Say Thank see you. ya. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, look who I'm here with. Hello. So how far did you guys have to drive? It was six hours, about a little over 400 miles. And you made it. Yes. Six hours, we 400 left at miles. 2 a.m. Wow. Wow. Awesome. So this is Botsworth Homestead. Go check them out if you haven't checked them out already. They're a growing channel. Awesome. More homesteaders in this golden ray of sunshine community I keep bragging about. So cool. Thank you. You're welcome. guys know him, Jeff from Bobblehead Homestead. How are you today? I'm great. This is this is just a fantastic day. Now, was it very far for you to travel here? It's about three hours. Three hours. Okay. Nice. How are you doing today? Uh, emotionally awesome. Physically, I'm tired, yes. but it'll it'll it's worth it. What would you say has been your favorite part so far? People know me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but yeah. Yeah, that's so cool, isn't that? It is. Yeah, that's it really is. special. And they're, everybody's so nice and kind and and thoughtful things to say, and it's just this community is unreal. It is. So what should we what should we know about your YouTube channel? Chickens, cats, flowers, and just some dude out in the middle of nowhere having fun. Yeah. <laughs> I get like slow paced but fun from your channel. So when I'm like, let's let's slow it down but also have some fun. That's called the head home set. Yeah. And chickens and cats, of course. We yeah. love those things. Yeah. Cool. Just whatever's going on. <laughs> just whatever's going on. Nice. Are you looking forward to anything this spring, this summer? Oh yeah, I've got a cabin coming. So I need to, uh, it's just a shell, so I got to do electric and build it. Okay. Wow. I'm going to be learning from that. I'm very curious about building. Cool. Yeah. Do you have yeah. any resources that you like for building? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching other YouTube channels. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, a shed to house, better together life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it'll be smaller than theirs, but a lot of people are doing the shed to house, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, well, good luck to you. I'm so glad we got to meet you. Yes, All thank right. you. My name is Dr. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, hey, guys. So I just met sorry, what you say Dawson, Dawson, Casey, and Sean. Sean. All this whole family. It is so cool to meet people who have been so supportive of the journey. So it's really cool to put faces to names. And so 
They're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. They're thinking about it. Do you guys think that they should start it? I think so. I think, I so. think so too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are you guys based in Arkansas? Yeah, we're out of Toll, Arkansas. Toll, Arkansas. Yeah, which is almost a Sheridan. Okay. Yeah. It's right. like in, almost two hours away from here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we took two hours to come here. Yeah. <laughs> guys if and when they come out with their YouTube channel I'll link it somehow so look for them on YouTube and Instagram can people connect with you somehow uh, yeah yeah you um, my Facebook or my Instagram name is Casey J Robbins Blunt and it's under the Willow Ranch my name is Casey J Robbins Blunt and my name is Deshaun Blunt and you can find me on YouTube as well I do American Indian research at liveadream dot uh, uh, network, sorry, and it's live a dream network. Okay? okay, so check it out, <laughs> and y'all like the research Yay. that I put behind it. All right. Awesome! I'm so glad to meet you guys. Thank you. Oh, pet our pet. I'm so glad to meet you guys. All right. Thank you. Like, oh yeah! <laughs> Ooh, all right, thank you. Guys, I won. I kept hearing my name and I was like, are they calling me? I guess I won something. That's cool. okay. Hey guys, so I'm here with Salad Bar Farm and I just <laughs> bought a spoon. I've been wanting a wooden spoon for so bad. I bugged so the land like 15 times for a dark wood spoon, but today I'm leaving with, what is this? That was, I believe, maple. maple. I'm so bad with the woods. There's so many different <laughs> variations. It's not even funny. I'm gonna, so I'm leaving with a maple mm -hmm. spoon today. Yes. Yep. And so tell us a little bit about your work. So we do. We actually work with a friend of ours up in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and he has all the lathe and the experience and the knowledge because it is crazy how much you need to know. But here, my husband. So we start like a spatula or spoon will start out like this, where it's just a rough cut, and then we'll go to this where you actually put it on the lathe and you use your tools to carve this section and then we go to this which is the stage right before we put the olive oil or the coconut oil on it and then once you do it shines it's got to be sanded a little bit to make sure there's no splinters in that so let's, let's see them all like side by side all right wow so that's the process so it goes from this yep to this to that Yep. And you gotta make sure there's no splinters. Yeah, because you don't want to cook and like have a piece of wood. And then they're not stained or anything. Like once you put the oils on there, like an olive oil or coconut oil, it brings out all of the coloring. So there might be like, uh, let me show you, like this. It was dull to begin with. And then you put a little bit of oil on there and it just shines and the coloring just comes right through. Isn't that so fun about wood? Yep. How you can really bring yeah, it out. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, you just never really think about it. And all of a sudden, you just hit a little bit of wood. Yes. There you go. Well, thank you so much no for problem. my spoon. I got Thanks. You guys. Thank you. Yes. Good luck with all your endeavors. Thanks. It's been a great time. Hey, guys. Look who it is. Too, and made new friends. And Photo bomb. <laughs> hey. No, you haven't. What do you got here? How are you doing? I am ready for it to be over. Actually, yeah. I am tired. Yeah. <laughs> I hopped in. Okay. Now I'm about ready to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I Hopefully bet. you can hear all of us because it's so I loud. I know it is loud. Yeah. How y'all doing out there? Yeah. Oh. Hey guys. What was your guys' favorite part of the day? Oh man. Meeting new people. I mean, and seeing friends like you, like, oh my goodness. Like, I talked to Natalie online. It's my first time to meet you in person. Yes. It's been awesome. Yes, meeting new people and seeing friends from YouTube in person. It's yeah. awesome. We need, a, we need a word for the, the feeling of, like, what's it like to meet somebody from online? Because it's surreal. It's, it's surreal, right? Like, I find it really hard to take it in. Yeah. I'm kind of like... It's yeah. amazing, but also I'm just like, wait, what? I don't know. Yeah. I don't have a word for it yet. And you kind of, when you see them on YouTube, you kind of almost put them on a pedestal in some sort of way, but they're just people like you are. Mm -hmm. They're just everyday people. Yeah, now she realizes that I'm just super weird and smell really bad, so <laughs> I've broken every expectation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. She did not realize how tall I was. No, though. she's yeah. taller than me, yeah. I think. 
looks like I'm like one hit standing, but if I stood straight, or she's still taller than I am. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to stand up straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then one person I met, I won't say who they are, but they're a lot shorter than I expected them to be. Uh, I didn't want to tell them to their face. You're a lot shorter in person. <laughs> was it a dude? It was a dude. Yes. Yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. All right, you guys. Well, if you haven't checked out the Hassan family vlog yet, you should definitely do that. But go show them some YouTube love. This is one of those channels that I'm rooting for to get over a thousand real quick because their lives are so entertaining. So if you haven't checked them out, I'm sure so many of you have. But if you haven't, go check them out. Oh, thank so you. So good to meet you too. Somebody's about to call the hogs. Honestly, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Everybody got their cameras out? Come on. Come on, Come on Andrew. Andrew. Robin said she's going to hold the microphone now. Awesome. Uh, oh, you got to. Yeah, if God wanted me to call the hogs, he would figure out to get me out of Arkansas. So hey, guess Jesus what? I'm here. <laughs> I got a puppy, the puppy pooped in the car. And my one job was to watch the puppy. And then he pooped. But according to Daniel, I won Farm Girl of the Year because I just scooped that poop right up with my hands, drove home, had the dog in my lap, and he has peed all over me. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> but we're home safe now, and it's time to chill because the shindig was so much activity and so much fun and such a blessing but it's definitely time to get cleaned up and go rest. 